what is the problem? The problem is when I'm trying to find alternative parts, I am stuck comparing dozens of parts, just trying to figure out who has the best offer. We've looked at finding alternate parts, but how does Octoparts Bomb Tool actually help me cut through all of that noise? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So when I'm on Octopart, you can see here I'm logged in. Um, I can click over to the bomb tool and it actually saves the bomb that we were working on in the last video. So I'm just going to pop that open. And you can see here that we have a total price listed for a batch size of one. And we have some options for uh, configuring our bomb so that we can get to a lower total price. Now, you mentioned things like currency and region-specific distributors. There's a few different ways you can, you can uh, uh, configure that, right? Of course, here we have currency settings. You know, if I'm buying in, let's say, Australian dollars, you know, I, I can select that right here. Um, I can also select, for example, uh, distributors that are prioritized to other parts of the world. So, for example, China, right? I can select that right here. Um, there's other things that I can do, uh, such as selecting uh, packaging preferences. And this is actually a really important part of cost because here, uh, if I sort by different uh, uh, packaging types, that's going to allow me to see what are the highest minimum order quantity parts and address those first based on what's in my bomb. So for example, I can support, I can, uh, for example, you know, sort by uh, tape and reel or bulk packaging or cut tape. Um, so there's various ways to narrow down to the parts that might have higher cost than what I am uh, willing to pay or than what I need to pay for my batch size. So this is really important because I want to show an example here with this batch size. Now you can see here we have a batch size of one for this design and at a batch size of one there's a total price of $237. Um, that's pretty high for a batch size of one. But if I change this to a batch size of 100, you see that we get down to a price of $10 per unit. Okay, so we have a total cost of about almost $1,100, so it gets down to uh, actually $11 per unit, okay, not accounting for attrition. So why does that happen? Well, if we go back to a batch size of one, you can see here that almost a third of that cost is due to this one part right here, which is discontinued anyways, and so we would need to, to find an alternate. But you can see here the minimum order quantity for that part is so high that it actually accounts for a lot of this total cost. So that illustrates some of the things that you need to look at when you're trying to optimize the price for all these items in your bomb. Cool, so what if we wanna see the pricing from just the preferred vendors? Yeah, so if you wanna look at just the preferred vendors, like let's say for this part, for example, this little drop down right here will show you the options available just from your preferred distributors. Um, so here you can see that we have several options of some of which are not currently in stock, as you can see here from Newark, Future, and Avnet, but we do have an option from DigiKey. We also have here a minimum order quantity of 2000 available from DigiKey at this price. So if we needed 2,000 of these parts for our build, you could see here that if we wanted to, we could actually increase this to a batch size of 2,000 and get an alternate price based on these higher minimum order quantities. So you have a little bit of freedom here to select some different offers. Now, as you can see, you know, the Mauser and DigiKey offers are basically the same price. So that's okay. This is telling you, okay, we can just go from our favorite distributor, in this case, Mauser, and just order from them. Gotcha. So if you were to sort of do a step-by-step a, a -step process of how to know that you're getting the best deal on your alternate from all these different suppliers, what would, what would that look like? Right. So uh, if you just had a few lines in your BOM, I mean, you could look through each of these individual lines and kind of do what I just showed, which is, you know, read through the different offers and, and see which one is the best price and select it. But you actually have up here an offer or an option for selected offers preference. And so you can select here, for example, all of them by specific distributors, or you can choose to sort 
by lowest price by authorized distributor. And so that's automatically going to queue in to just the lowest price offers from your distributors that you've selected in the preferred distributors area. Now, another way to do this to see what's available beyond the preferred distributors is to just select lowest price. And you can see here if we select that, we're already at the lowest price for everything in our BOM. So that's just fine. We can just go ahead and go with it. Um, but that's one way you can kind of automate all of that to get just down to the lowest price from your preferred uh, vendor list. So this is really cool because we've we've very quickly gotten these alternate parts into something that's really easy to manage. We can share it with our team. Uh, we feel very confident that we've gotten, you know, good solid arcs on alternates that are gonna make a bomb so much better. Going into purchasing, we're in a really, really good place. So purchasing is what we're gonna be talking about in the next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for part four, where we are moving from planning to purchasing. We'll see you there.